And when you take a look at the probable rotations coming up for the 2023 season, and Flash, you look at this with Cole, Radon, Severino, and Cortez, that righty-lefty, righty-lefty, and then Frankie Montas almost lost in the shuffle. He could have a bounce-back season. How does that stack up? Well, I think when you look at rotations, you're looking at the top guy. Garrett Cole's going to be able to match up against any number one in the game, but I'm glad you bring up Montas at the bottom, the number five guy. If he rebounds after what he did last year as a New York Yankee, where there was some shoulder problem, there was an adjustment after the trade, it wasn't a great couple of months, but you would expect him to get back to his Oakland A's days and you're now saying we have five quality starters in this rotation. Love the fact that Nestor gets kind of bumped down to number four and you can go any way you want, right? I mean, Severino three, Nestor three or four, but uh, Jack, you can match up that five against any rotation in baseball. And I like the diversity that Bob mentioned, the fact that you go righty with Cole, you go lefty with Rodon, you go back righty with Severino, you go lefty with Cortez, you finish off with Montas. And don't sleep on Montas by the way this is a guy who was an ace in Oakland and yes they play in a bigger ballpark and yes his road ERA was not good and he struggled when he come over to the Yankees all Montas has to be right now is be better than other teams number five starter the pressure will be off him and by the way Bob you didn't ask for this but as I look at that <laughs> graphic here's how I'm ranking them I'm going Yankees Astros Mets Padres Dodgers. I'm glad you bring up Montas, right, because you said there's no pressure on him or expectations. I bet if we asked him, he would disagree with us and say, listen, I'm a top of the rotation type guy. What I did last year, the last couple of months, that's not who I am. And I, I'm telling you, coming into your first spring training with the Yankees, he's going to be more comfortable. You're hoping that the shoulder is going to be 100 percent healthy. I would not be surprised if he has a big bounce back next year with the Yankees. All right. So we've talked about that. And I think we all like it, that righty, lefty, righty, lefty mix it up if he went back to back with let's say Rodon and Cortez because they are different he's more of a power pitcher with that biting slider Cortez throws the two the fastball and then that cutter could you potentially do that and still disrupt batters? I'm sure that will happen this year. And let's also throw into the fact that Cortez is 5'11", 5'10", and then you look at Radon, he's 6'2", and so you're going to be seeing the ball from different angles as well. Absolutely, they're, they're not carbon copies. I would actually say that Cole and Severino might be more similar than Rodon and Cortez are, but you always like to, as far as I'm concerned, lefty-righty, lefty-righty. If you can get that split, you're just making batters have to face a different look every night. And what does our buddy David Cohen always tell us, right? You're going to need seven or eight starters during the year. You think about guys like Clark Schmidt, Domingo Herman. Now maybe they're not going to get their opportunity right away uh, coming out of spring training, but at some point you got to believe that they're going to get some sort of a shot in the rotation. We just don't know when it's going to be. But then, then again, you have depth. You could have guys getting breaks or injuries. You never know what happens. And Jack also, Schmidt and Herman then become big factors for that bullpen, which just further fortifies the bullpen right you're not going to go through a season where all five of your starters are going to make 30 plus starts but if you were lining up the Yankees best 12 or 13 pitchers right now Herman and Schmidt are on that list I would guarantee you that both are going to get starts throughout the year there's going to be opportunity for them and I think Schmidt is someone who can really blossom and can really grow the Yankees put him in some pressure filled spot last season whether he succeeded or whether he didn't succeed those are the kinds of experiences that can make you better going forward.